Football League on EA Sports. Operating from the red zone now, Allen. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. And that's on the guard, Cody Ford. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Now Allen. This one caught by Crowder. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Allen to throw once more. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. On third down, they go with Singletary. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. They were ahead of schedule after the gain of seven on first down, but the defense does not budge on second and third. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills have taken the lead here in the fourth. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Second down, again they defer to Snell. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Here's Snell yet again. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now it's Trubisky. That ball nearly intercepted. The rookie had his hands on it, but couldn't pull it in. The Steelers on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This is third and seven. Escaping the pressure right. He's got his tight end Fryermuth right side. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They go play action with Trubisky. Steps away. It's complete to Fuller. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory. Down at the 33. Again, it's Trubisky. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. By the way, you'd be looking at about a 47-yarder from here as they come up on an important third down. Open man, that's the tight end, Fryermuth. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So here we go. On now is the kicker, Chris Boswell. This for a fourth quarter lead. Boswell's kick is good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. 
And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 27 yards there, a first down. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Allen. Throw left side complete. That's Davis. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. On the very outer edge of field goal range, it would be 56 yards if they got nothing here on third down. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This for a fourth quarter lead. And that is no good. And that'll keep this a one-point game. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they certainly caught a big break with that missed field goal. Instead of trailing, they hold on to that slim lead. And now we'll see how they play this critical fourth quarter possession. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Second down. Again, they defer to Snell. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Four yards the pickup. First down. They're going to run again with Snell. Down inside the 40. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. On second down, it's Snell. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 50 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. On first down, McFarland. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A give up the middle to McFarland. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Now he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive took a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settled things down a little bit. Trying to get it with Snell. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well, and he starts to slip off of you. And instinctively, you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official and called. Boswell's kick is good, and that'll move their lead up to four now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And last time out, another missed field goal. So maybe their confidence wavering a little bit right now in the kicking game. And I'm with you on that. I think at this stage, they'd love to not run it back out there in a tough situation. 
But let's face it, they may have to. So right now, the head coach is talking to the offense coordinator and saying, call this game like we're going to put it in the end zone. Let's try and take the field goal out of it. To throw again on second down. Allen, and that's complete to McKenzie. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down now, but that clock rolling. Allen, that's taken in by Knox. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Clock running here under 90 seconds to go. Allen, that's complete to Davis. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Allen trying to hurry everybody up to the line of scrimmage. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Throwing is Allen. On a huge mistake late, it's intercepted. It's Chris Harris with a pick. And he'll take it across midfield to the 46-yard line. They run straight ahead with Snell. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw would likely put an end to this thing. And he goes down at the 26, a pickup of 13, and that last play began at the 13. First down. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. the handoff it's Snell and he'll take this ahead for about four second down coming up now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth the run got four now they deal with a second and six now a give here to Snell and he's across for the touchdown and in the final minute that should just about seal it. A pretty well-executed run. They were telling us yesterday, Charles, they were hoping to get everybody in sync, the line, the backs, and everybody looked in sync on that play. They were in sync, and the field tilted. And that's where we get the term running downhill because when you've got that kind of momentum and everyone's doing it properly, as you just described, it does feel like they are coming from downhill to you as a defender, and that is really hard to stop. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. It's a squibber picked up around the 27. And they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. And they're going to work this down to 